think it's like four or five hundred pounds for a cap so that's why I'm a bit like oh do I really want to spend 500 pounds on a cap but it's just not any cap hello it's Celine <laughs> Hello there my darlings, welcome to Itwish Alam World where I share all things that fabulous. Today's video, we are talking my 2024 luxury wish list. I have added some realistic pieces that are attainable for me. And I think for the past few years, I have made a conscious decision to ensure that all my pieces are realistic. I think last year, I pretty much got the majority of things that I wanted on my wish list, which was unexpected actually i didn't expect to um already there, there's a piece on my wish list now that i just realized that i already bought i wrote this in december so i'm really excited to show you some of the pieces that i cannot wait to get my hands on so if it's your first time here welcome my name is Adarish and i love fashion beauty lifestyle i love all things that are fabulous and luxe they do say that i am the soft life connoisseur so hey welcome <laughs> if you're not subscribed yet please make sure you do comment down below if you're new and if you're coming back then hey i see you girl follow me on instagram tiktok for i share all things that are fabulous too so with that no further ado let's get into today's video so first up on my list is a mugler bodysuit i love this because it looks very futuristic and very versatile i cannot wait to get my hands on this i initially saw this on melissa's wardrobe and she absolutely killed it now that the girls are smaller i cannot wait to rock things like this tom ford padlock heels is second i have the gold one already and i absolutely love it such a staple Complements everything, very versatile, and I just cannot wait to, um, yeah, I can't wait to have the nude. I feel like the nude is such a staple for summer. It's one of those shoes that I put on and I automatically feel sexy, makes my legs look longer, and it just complements everything. I personally find them to be very comfortable, but I've heard a few girls mention that it's the most uncomfortable shoes, but for me, I think they're very comfortable. And they complement everything and very, very versatile as well. So my next one, was the Gucci bucket hat and I already purchased this I ticked this off my list I got myself this for Christmas and I love it I feel wanting to get a bucket hat for so long and when I saw this particular one I knew that I had to have it I love it because of the roundness and how it literally it's Japanese style isn't it it's really it's really giving Japanese such a statement hat perfect for the summer I cannot wait to wear it with a dress possibilities are endless with this and I cannot wait to have well I have it already I have this in my collection and I love it so much uh, I'm yet to wear it though such such a great piece um, so yeah this has already been ticked off my list <laughs> and next up I want to get the CC studs this has been on my list since last year um, I think I went to purchase these last year but it was the same price as my Dior heels. So I was just like, whoa. I think the Dior heels was just like a hundred pounds more. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get the Dior heels instead. So I didn't get the studs. But this year, definitely, I wanna get the studs. I want the Diamante ones. I want the Diamante ones. It's such a classic, looks really beautiful. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. It's just that top girl earrings, isn't it? It doesn't, like, it's not loud, it's not in your face, but there's that no, no. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's such a staple and I really love it. I'm really into my earrings now. So I really want to build my earring collection, my studs, and just have really nice pieces that I know I could wear for any occasion. And then another thing that I want is the Oran sandals. I already have two pairs. I have the brown and I have the white. Um, I'm thinking to get either black orange or pink i'm not sure which color i want just yet after i buy this one i'm done me and hermes oran are done <laughs> so i'm still trying to figure out i need to go and actually try the colors on i've tried the pink on and it was really cute but it wasn't in my size so i need to try and find the orange and the black try them on and see how and see which i like better uh, i've had my brown one for what like 
two years now and it's still in very good condition my white one i took it to congo um and it's still in very great condition so i'm looking forward to getting another piece um to just complement and complete my collection another piece that i want which was on my last year's wish list was a louis vuitton louis vuitton cosmetic bag oh my god i this is like the perfect traveler's bag if you're a traveling babe a louis vuitton um, cosmetic bag is your thing and you can actually use it as a for a skincare bag makeup bag you can use it as an actual bag if you get this the mini one because they look super cute i really cannot wait to get my hands on them i don't know which size i will get just yet um it's between the mini and the medium i don't think i want the large um just because i do want to use it as a bag as well so i do love these though i feel like every top girl needs to have these this is like the ultimate traveler's girl pack <laughs> i love it i absolutely love it and another item that i want is the celine sunglasses i have been i've had my eyes on these for a long time um i love how how chic it is how simple um but how sophisticated it is um it's very distinctive um the shape is super cute um just looks really beautiful so i want the total shell and it has the cc on the side super chic super elegant i really love that so the, ne uh, the next thing that i want is the um sac du jour i had this on my list last year I think this is the year of Sac de Jour. Okay, Sac de Jour is the perfect alternative to Hermes um, bags for the fraction of the price. You know, um, Hermes bags are very expensive. These are literally, um, these are, this is a realistic price, very attainable for an everyday type of girl. So, and it's really chic, great entry bag as well um staple classic okay i feel like every girl needs a sac de jour i would get the nano um my sister has the mini i think i want the nano just because i want to use it for more daily and it's it has more um storage it's more wider and bigger inside i've been contemplating whether i should get a different color but i think the black the, the dark red or grey, it's, it's between those colours, but I have seen a green one which I absolutely loved. They do colours as well, they do pink. I'm going to decide because I don't have a bright coloured bag. I have a black bag already, actually no that's a lie, I have the orange Prada bag, but it's a lot bigger in size. So, I don't know, I don't know which colour I would get just yet, but I need to get a colour that will complement a lot of my items something that's versatile something that will go with everything so i really need to think about that um but i know that this is the year that i will get it hopefully <laughs> but yeah no i definitely want that this year another item that i want is the full bottle of i want the maison francis cartagena satin mood and i want the full bottle because i have the sample i used to have the full bottle but it's done they kindly sent me the travel size kit last year um but that's almost done now and it's a fragrance that every time i put on i get stopped literally i get stopped <laughs> i had a, a family like chase me down the station once asking me what did i just spray on and i love this fragrance really oriental really sexy it smells really expensive and very long lasting it's just uh, very unique love love this fragrance and then I also want the Chanel trainers. I feel like this might also be the year of the Chanel trainers. Like, I don't know what I'm going to get from this list, but I know for sure there are certain pieces that I have to get my hands on, you know? So definitely the Chanel trainers. I want a neutral color, something that I could wear with everything, something that's versatile. And what I love about these trainers is that they just look so sleek. They just look so how can i even put it together it just really elevates your outfit you know like 
You can wear a casual fit, but having the right accessories is what's going to help you look elevated and expensive. Like you can still look expensive whilst dressed casual. This is a piece that you need to really give you that luxe babe vibe and I really cannot wait to get it. I think I want the cream with the black CC on it. I'm not sure yet. Um, because initially I wanted a colored one, but no, I want something a bit more neutral. And then I also want the Celine Triumph belt. Now, this has been circulating circulating online for a little bit. Um, so you can say it's a trendy piece, but I know that it's a classic. Um, because of the style of it, it's black and it has like a gold buckle of CC at the front or the initial. Love this um, belt. Really chic, really sleek, very sophisticated. Can be dressed in so many different ways. Um, I've seen babes wear it with trousers, skirts on top of a dress, coats, like you name it. I'm not really a belt kind of girl. Recently, I'm really loving slim belts that you can wear over like a satin skirt and a top like I did previously. I'll see if I can find the picture. Like that's a really nice look. You can even do that with like a shirt. You could wear it with a trouser and a shirt. Really, really beautiful. Or you can wear it like on a waist over a belt as well. So it's such a chic belt, really a staple. Love, love this. Um, another item that I want on my list, we have the Louis Vuitton suitcase. Now I think this has been on my list for a while. I don't know if I'll get this this year, but hey, why not? A girl can only dream, right? <laughs> Love this suitcase. I If I get it, I would definitely put my initials on it. It's just such a top girl accessory. Like, I don't think I would buy anything from Louis Vuitton apart from their accessories. Louis Vuitton accessories is just oh, gorgeous. I need a Louis Vuitton wallet as well, but I didn't put that on here. I don't think I'll buy it this year, but definitely the Louis Vuitton suitcase and all the accessories in general. I really want um, what else do I like from there yeah I think just accessories you know just the accessories I also want the um, Roslyn Beniski rhinestone black hat it's just like the gray one that I recently bought but this is all black and it has the rhinestone writing I think this one is really cute really chic perfect for winter um, the rye stone just adds a party element to it. I love it. Um, I I can imagine wearing like an all black outfit or even like a grey fit, all white, and just throwing that on because it's black. It can pretty much go with anything. But in particular, in particular, I want it because of the rhinestone. I just feel like it will really elevate my outfits, especially when you want to just wear something plain and throw that on. Even with trainers, I think it will look really insane. So I had to add it to my list because the grey one, I'm wearing it all the time, literally all the time. So I know that I will literally um, wear this a lot as well. So another item that I want is a um, Celine Triumph cap. Oh my god, I funny enough, I saw this on a babe on TikTok. She just looked absolutely expensive. Like she wore like the Celine Triumph t-shirt or tank, cardigan, I think, through the jumper, has on an Hermes bag, trainers. She looked like money. And I was just like, I need this cap. Like, I'm not really a cap babe, but when I'm running my errands, a lot of the times I like to just throw it on a cap and go or if I'm going to the gym, but this wouldn't be for the gym. This would be when I'm doing my errands, going shopping, um, like a cute casual date or whatever, you know? I cannot wait to get my hands on this. It again has the C um, sign at the front. Such a classic. Um, a lot of the pieces I have here are classics. They're not trendy at all. So I just feel like a hat like this, it will just add that oomph into your outfit. Even if you're a casual babe, just having the right pieces will really help you to look elevated. So I know that I will be wearing this all that time. Such a beautiful hat. Looks really, looks expensive because it is. I think it's like four or 500 pounds for a cap. So that's why I'm a bit like, ugh, do I really want to spend 500 pounds on a cap? But it's just not any cap, hello. It's Celine. <laughs> 
Um, next up, what else? It's quite of a long one this time. I also want to invest in the Deep Teak Large Candle vase um i just i love this candle one of my favorites so having a big it's like this size basically it's this size yeah this is a deep teak bottle um container so i want to get the black one um this one was done a very long time ago <laughs> and i think these retail for about one 150 or something like that um they burn for hours uh beautiful smell i told you when i first discovered this candle when i used to work in selfridges the personal shopping department would burn this candle every single day and every time i would go there to drop pieces for clients i was always taken by this scent it was always so beautiful so um i have one in my house now it's a small but i definitely want to get the large one for that hotel experience <laughs> Okay, so I also won the Cartier gold watch. Now this is a top girl watch. This watch is 20k. So therefore I don't think I'll be getting it this year. But hey, who knows? It's we're only in January. Who knows? Who knows? Okay. Um <laughs> jewelry is really the best way to one of the best ways to invest your money. So I really, what well, was either this or the um, the Rolex? I, I know I've had the Rolex up for a while. Um, I still want one, but I have been gravitating more towards Cartier, um, especially because this is such a slim, beautiful watch, really vintage, very slim, not too in your face, um, and I just I love it. Great investment piece. I'm thinking about this. Who knows? Like I said, it's only January. Miracles gonna happen, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, on my list, no, I want, <laughs> sorry, I'm confused. I really love the Gucci um, cardigan, the boucle cardigan. Oh my God. I'm not sure I would buy anything else from Gucci. Like I wouldn't get a Gucci bag anymore. I, I don't know. I'm just not into it anymore, but I love the accessories ready to wear. I definitely want the Gucci tights with the big prints. Um, but it didn't make it to my list to be honest with you because it's not do you know what I mean? It's not a must and uh, but I definitely want the Gucci boucle cardigan Which um, it's black with like some gold detailing looks really beautiful I can imagine dress wearing this with like tra um, trousers or even on top of a skirt and uh, on my shoulders with a dress Like very versatile you can I can dress it up dress it down um i love love this vibe especially for spring i think things like this is really cute so this i had to make it to my list i really want that definitely i want the sport max structured blazer i was meant to get this on my last partnership with farfetch but babes it was always sold out it was always sold out so this had been on my wish list for a year every time i see this it's sold out so I think the one that I initially want is also out of stock, but they've brought out another one. But I don't think it's as structured as the previous one. I recently saw Melissa's wardrobe again, wearing it on her um, partnership with Harrods. And I was just like, oh my God, girl, I need this blazer. <laughs> so I've added it onto my wish list again. I think it retails for about 700 pounds. Um, so such a great investment because blazers are staples year in, year out. Um, such a staple, you can wear it for any occasion, like, do you know what I mean? So I really want to invest in a good structured blazer with an exaggerated shoulder padding. Honestly, I can just imagine wearing like a satin dress and throwing that on, wearing some trousers. And I think Mel's beauty, she like showed a different ways to style this blazer and oh, breathtaking, honestly, love, love the babe. Um, I think what else? That's everything, you know, that's literally everything on my list. So thank you so much for watching. I would love to know what's on your wish list for 2024. It doesn't have to be luxury items. It could be anything. Um, let me know. I would love to know. Comment down below and follow me on Instagram, TikTok. I'll see you in the next video. Mwah. See you.